Hey, everybody. So unlike Jason said this morning, this is not the chat ops talk you are looking for. However, I am so passionate about chat ops, and we should have an open space about it. This talk is about games. So I can tell from the reaction previously, we have some gamers. Any tabletop gamers? Any Carcassonne? Ooh, we should play. I like, I like games. So a lot of people like games. Uh, why? So they have an objective, right? They're challenging. Some of us really dig a challenge. Uh, they bring a different mindset. You get to be a different person sometimes. Uh, just play werewolf. Um, and it brings people together, right? You get to be a team. You get to hang out. So I'm Adam Zolek. I'm really passionate about better ways of working. I work in product at CAA Tech at Agile Central, DevOps, ChatOps, and DevUX to make our other teams go faster and release better stuff. And I love playing games. So what are we going to talk about today? Games at work. And I don't, I don't mean after work or during lunch. I mean, like, let's schedule a meeting to play a game, because we got to get stuff done, games at work. So why in the world would you do that? So I'm in product, and as a product person, I want to find the most valuable thing. I want to get the wisdom from my teams and my users that I'm supporting. And I want to find fun and engaging ways of discovering and shaping that value. I don't want it to be snooze. I don't want everybody to be on their laptop ignoring me. So I want to share a couple games. So let's learn a few games here today that you can take back. So the first game we're going to look at. Bum, ba, ba. Bum, ba, ba. It's called Bang for the Buck. And Bang for the Buck is about weighing what's the most valuable thing with how much do we want to spend on it. And it's cool, because everybody gets to participate. So we're going to look at the game board and a couple moves here. Um, so we basically start out with a bunch of stuff. So we could crowdsource it. These could be blank cards. Maybe I bring some stuff in. And the game board looks like this, right? Value and cost. So yay, this seems a little boring, right? So the first player is going to grab one of those things, anything they want, or they're going to write one in. And they're going to take it and put it out here, right? And they're going to say, this is super valuable. And of course, it costs nothing, maybe because it's super valuable and I really want to do it. Um, and they, they tell us why, right? You get to hear that thing in their head, like, why is that valuable? Sort of make that argument for it, right? So the next player is going to pull the next thing, right? No! They moved their thing. They moved player A's thing, right? And they said, I don't think so. And I'm going to put it here, right? And so um, it's an interesting way. Everybody sort of goes round robin, right? Everybody gets to play. And it's an interesting way to hear what everybody's thinking and to let everybody sort of play that role of what's the most important thing. So why does this work? Each person gets a turn. That doesn't always happen in meetings. Um, you get to explain yourself and why you think it's valuable or cost or whatever. That doesn't always happen, right? Sometimes leadership will say something or there'll be a strong voice. Um, and you get to disagree, right? Hopefully it's a little bit more of a game if you bring some popcorn and some beers and, and you gamify it a little bit. Uh, it's safer to disagree with one another, and that's really cool, right? And then we can come together, hopefully, over time and understand each other. So another game, uh, it's called Buy a Feature. This one's cool because you all get to be venture capitalists and you get money. So you start by getting a $50 bill, two 20s, and a 10. And you can design the game board however you'd like. Uh, when I've played this, we've actually designed this as a sort of a process. So in this case, this is getting a service on our PES. So we laid out the entire process. And everybody gets this money. And we say, OK, you're an investor. Where are you going to invest in improving this, right? So take your money. Boom, everybody's just going on the board. And then we sort of talk about it, right? I put 50 here, I put 70 here. Can I change my 50 in for two 20s and a 10? No. Can you get $51 bills? No. Um, and so we sort of understand what's important to people, right? So this is, this is the real one we did with our team right here, right? This is our entire workflow for getting a service on the PaaS and trying to work out the kinks and automate. Um, so you see $90 one place, 150 another place, right? We talked about why. Um, so why does this work, right? Everybody's a VC, right? Day to day, you might be a developer, an engineer, um, and I'm in product. But for this moment, everybody's in product, right? And the different denominations force tough decisions. And you can even negotiate, right? Like, I'll move my 50 if you move my 50. Um, so you can do that. And you really understand the why of decisions, right? Like, why? Why are people thinking of this, right? And that's like, that's like over half the value. That's like 75% of the value here, just to talk as a team and to use this as a tool to explore. So some great tools for this, Post-its, some markers if you're in the same space, Google Docs. Both of these come from innovation games. There's over 20 innovation games. Go check them out. There's rules. Some of them even have game boards you can play live. Food or drinks, you know, make it like poker. Have a good time. You can even make your own play money. 
And in the words of Will Wheaton, play more games. All right.